Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. Today I'm going to show you my newest book, Art Journal Volume 2, that I've created. Okay, this is very similar to Art Volume 1, but the thematic is a bit different. So I just wanted to go and show you the content of the book. Okay, here we go. This is the book, okay. Um, well, this is the front cover and this is the back cover. And you can get a little bit of a glimpse of what it's inside because this is basically just a very brief summary it's not in color it's just black and white but i like to add some color on my covers okay so yeah here's the book's purpose and this just says that it's basically a book that it's supposed to be destroyed okay <laughs> oh don't worry and here's just that i um um well it's for my parents basically <laughs> and then yeah so the book starts here. The first three pages are just like an introduction. And then from here onwards, everything is repeated three times. And you can see in the copy of the book that we have like three different lines here. I don't know if it's pretty obvious. I'll try to put it close to the camera. But they are like, um, this is because one of the pages goes to the very, very end. This one here. And I can you tell you where it starts, okay? So the first page is like this. We have some lettering. This from David to camera. And then this is from an accounting book that I have. I bought it in, in France. I right, from the 1869. Pretty old. Exciting. I can't really understand what it says here. But yeah, it's um like expenses and yeah like this from a business so I put quite a few of these and it starts another book that I bought also there and it's about what's called the bond journal and it has lots of different advertisements and I've complete here with extra stuff from other places and it's just like some sort of I don't know like stories or something and then it comes these two parts that are like sometimes in the inside of the books in the covers they would put these sort of things so i just extracted two from old books and then i just collected here something different and here it starts the uh, vintage labels i put it twice and then you get it twice you can cut it or not the whole book is repeated three times okay so you can basically cut and use it as you want and I've repeated the same one here back and forth. I mean, my original idea was to put just here one and then leave this one blank. But I thought, you know, if you don't like this one and, and you like this one very much, then basically you can use this one and forget about the back of the side of this. Okay. This probably is the only flower that you'll see in the book. Unless there's something else, um, you know, embedded in the different uh, labels. And yeah, this is the vintage labels. Lots of labels, lots of labels, and then it starts like a sort of catalog thing that will be the next thing. Okay, so more labels and more labels, more labels, <laughs> and then we jump to this part, which is a calendar. Okay, so this calendar here it's 1898, and this one's 1899. So, fun fact, uh, this is exactly like 2022 and it is exactly like 2023, okay? So, you can use this one next year and this for the remaining of, of the year, you know? So, November and December, <laughs> you can use this or even if you were doing a scrapbook from this past year, you could use um, this different calendar, okay? And it's repeated three times, so basically you have six months, I mean six times the, uh, the year, yeah? comes these beads which are called the diary and then it, we start a section of the book which is about uh, like a department store like a catalog and it has multiple things so a bit masculine side here and then yeah. then we start the haberdashery department which I love I really like these ones 
So as you can see, this is this page, right? And I have it here on the background. Just if you add some sort of ink, then basically you just get this sort of vintage feeling. And yeah, you can add it to your um, projects. Crochet, more things. And then it starts this stationary bead. I love this image so much that I repeated it at the end and that will be the end of the first part of the book. So the first and third will end up with that large image. So this is the last image of the book and then it starts again. So this is the same as this, okay? So from here onward, the book is repeated. Okay, so you will find everything again. And then you reach the huge image again, and then it starts again. Okay, so it is again. So three times, guys. Three times. Okay, so you can destroy it as much as you want. Okay, and then for example, things that you can do. So with these sort of labels, okay, if you just um, cut them and then you can ink them, then you can get these vintage images. Okay, and you can use them in your projects to decorate anything. Okay, so as you can see here, this is exactly like this one. And I just cut it and inked that up. And it's really different. It's really vintage look. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. And the same with this. Okay, so the purpose of the book again is to tear it off and use it. And here, for example, if you are going to take pictures of, I don't know, samples or something, then basically um, you can just rip off some of the pages, ink them up, and this is a very nice background to just set up a card, okay? And, well, that's it. That was all. So, I hope you really like it. This is available in Amazon, and some shops may get it too. But for now, if you want to go to Amazon, I'll put the links below. And, yeah. Um, this is the one that I designed and I hope you like it and if you like this book and you missed the first one the first one is this one here this is our journal volume 1 so here are the two of them this is the old one and this is the new one right so and as you can see this one is a bit bigger because I decided to repeat it three times it may have a bit less um, images than before but it's repeated three times okay so that way the price is a bit increased as well okay well i hope you like it and yeah if you get it uh, please tag me online because i would love to see what you do with it okay thanks so much bye